So right now I have this three port mag style boost solenoid which I will be upgrading to this genuine four port and I'm doing this because I want to remain the low pressure spring in the wastegates so there's a 0.5 bar or 8 psi or 7 psi string spring in there and I want to keep that because I want to be able to lower it to that pressure and not be constantly at 1 bar or 15 psi and I will show you how to mount route and wire this 4 port boost solenoid first off what I'm using is 6 mm PTFE so Teflon line you can get this pretty cheap on, on eBay they use this stuff for example on 3D printers to guide the filament which makes it affordable so this is Teflon line and Teflon line has the big pro that it doesn't melt until I think four or five hundred degrees Celsius so this is very heat resistant then for fittings I will be using these Parker push lock fittings from 8, eight inch MPT to 6 millimeter there are straight and bent ones, these swivel, swivel as well. So these make it very nice to route the, the hose, hoses. And then for connectors, I will be using on, on the other valve as well. We'll be using this AMP Super Seal type connector. So I modified the mounting bracket for the valve to accept the 4 port boost solenoid. I have faced these two ports so I can run down the cylinder head and down into the wastegate which is then coupled with the other wastegate. Those are basically connected in parallel. So how this was connected before is here's the boost source from the turbo which goes to the bottom port of the wastegate which is then connected to the other wastegate and there's a, there was a T which was then mounted into the into the other solenoid into the old solenoid and from there the output was taken and put to this hose this hose is connected to the top port of the wastegate which is connected to the other wastegate as well so what this does with the, with the three port is it basically eliminates the pressure from the bottom if it's 100% um, open the way uh, the solenoid is 100% open there is the same pressure on both sides of the of the diaphragma and therefore the spring pressure is is on the valve in the wastegate which could then make double spring pressure so boost pressure would be double spring pressure what the four port does is not putting pressure also on the bottom side 
but it puts it on on the on the top side and eliminates it from the bottom side so what we're going to do is we route the pressure source to the input of the solenoid the bottom port of the solenoid the bottom output goes to the bottom of the wastegate and the top goes to the top of the wastegate which I'm gonna do now so the hoses are now routed up <coughs> <clears throat> so as I said, the input goes down and around and into the pressure source. The bottom port goes to the bottom of the wastegate and the top port goes to the top port of the wastegate. So just pretty quick. If you know if you want to know what what is you have this symbol here where you have in, X, A and B and those arrows are how the, the air is um, guided so normally the spring on the bottom here is active which means it goes from in to B and A is connected to the exhaust port of the gate. If the valve is now actuated by this solenoid here, it gets gets pushed down against the spring and the arrow, so the guideways for the air change. So the air goes from in to A and from B to exhaust which means if the valve is electrically electrical actuated the air goes from the input to this port which is then connected to the top which gives pressure on the on the diaphragma and pushes down the valve inside here which leaves the waste gates shut so the next step is to connect this solenoid electrically which is just two wires which one will go to ground and the other one to the output of your boost controller, your standalone or a switch.